Right, this is our refrigerated case cleaning kit. We've got a standard garden sprayer. You can also use a trigger sprayer. That's for the application of the cleaning fluid. Uh, I prefer a garden sprayer because it does it a bit faster, it's more efficient. We also have a regular bucket, some wipe down rags, we have some cleaning cloths. Phillips screwdriver, a pair of gloves, and a set of safety glasses. Good. Here's the cleaner that we're going to use tonight. Pretty much use any cleaner solution. I'd be going for something biodegradable. Take a second to consider the environment and a second to read the bottle for safety warnings and directions of use. Fans are running on electricity and need to be shut down. If your fans look at anything like this, it's probably best to talk to your service provider. Ask your service provider about the best procedure for isolation of your cases. It may be a key switch or a switch up in the plant room looking like this. the inside of the case and the coil plenty of cleaning solution plenty of different applicators you can use as shown here and I'll be leaving it for about five minutes after you're done once you've let it soak for five minutes you want buckets of warm soapy water to rinse your coil and drain pan What you gotta make sure you don't do is make sure all this gunk doesn't go down this drain. This is one of your most important points. We'll elaborate on this in case cleaning episode two. Wipe down trays, fans, fan guards with a damp rag. Remember fans are electrical parts. I hate water, so don't make it too wet. Finally, remove your drain strainer and pour one of those buckets of warm cleaning solution straight down the drain hole and make sure it drains away well. Make sure all your fan trays and especially access point trays are in place and secure for correct case operations. 